just said is that the basis period, the basis period is there because the accounting period is different from the tax year. Now we said that the tax year for the start of trading, if the business started trading on the 1st of January 2008, the tax year would be 2007, 2008 tax year, which would begin from 6th of April 2007 up to the 5th of April 2008. The accounting period given to us in this case is from 1st of January 08 up to 30th of June 08. We need to find a corresponding basis period. We said the rule for the first year basis period is from the start of the trading, which is 1st of January 08, up to the next 5th April, which is 5th of April 08. And because the profit is $10,000 of profit, because we have $10,000 of profit for this accounting period, and the basis period is only for three months, it is three out of six of the 10,000, out of six months of the 10,000, let's say $5,000, that will be taxable for the first tax year of 07, 08. Now, what then is the rule for the second year? The rule for the second year is that the basis period for the second tax year, for the second year, to get the basis period of a second year, we have to ask some questions. Let us say that for the second year, we prepare the books of account. The first year was from January 08 to June 08. If the second year is from 1st of July 08 up to the next 30th of June 09, we would ask a question to establish the basis period for the second year. First, we will say, is there a period? Is there a period of account ending in the second year? The answer for this could be yes. There is a period in the second tax year, ending in the second tax year. Or no, there is no period ending in the second tax year. If yes, there is a period in the second tax year, then we will ask ourselves, how long is this period? How long is this period? This period could be less than 12 months or the period ending in the second tax year could be greater than 12 months or equals to 12 months. So we need to know to establish the basis period for the second tax year whether there is a period of account ending in the second tax year. If the answer is yes, how long is that period? 12 months? or less than 12 months, or equals to 12 months. If the period is less than 12 months, like in our example here, then the basis period for the second tax year, we start counting from the start to 12 months after the start. That means that the basis period would have been from the start, which is 1st of January, up to the next 12 months, and that would be 30th of 31st of December 2008. So if the basis period ending in the second year is less than 12 months, and in this example we said the first year basis accounting period ends in on the 30th of June 2008, and here we ask our question, is there a period of account ending in the second tax year? Meaning between 6th April 07 and 5th April 08, is there any accounting period? Did the company close its books during that period? 
And yes, we said the first books were closed on the 30th June 2008. So, in this case, we said, oh, there is, I mean, uh, the, the, the second tax year, sorry, the second tax year was 6th of April 2008 up to 5th of April 2009. As we can see, the first accounting period ended on 30th June 2008. That period, therefore, ends in the second tax year in between these two dates. And uh, the period is less than 12 months. So when it's less than 12 months, we start counting the basis period. The basis period, we will start counting for the second year basis period. From the start of trading, from the start of trading, 1st of January 08, up to next 12 months, end of 12 months, we count 12 months from the start. That will end on 31st of December 08. You need to find the profit for that period. Remember, the profit for that second year period was the first six months of 2008, the profit was 10,000. If the profit for the second accounting period, meaning from 1st July up to 30th June 2009, 1st July 08 to 30th June 09, if the profit there was, let's say, another 10,000, it means that we have already taken the six months profit of 10,000. We will now take the additional six months profit out of the second year. That will be 5,000. The taxable profit for the basis period for the second tax year will be 15,000. So what we have said is that when the period of account ending in the second tax year is less than 12, we start counting forward 12 months from the start. When it is greater than 12 months, we start counting 12 months backwards from the date ending in the second tax year. 12 months backward from the date ending in the second tax year. When there is no period of account ending in the second tax year, then we say the basis period will be the same as the tax year. It means that the basis period where there is no period ending in the second tax year, the period from 6th April 08 up to 5th of April 09 itself will be the basis period. Thank you. So, we said the second year basis period, you follow rules. For the second year basis period, for the second year basis period, we said first you ask a question. The question number one is, is there, right, is there a period of account ending in the second tax year? The answer we said could be yes, there is a period of account ending in the second tax year, or no, there is no period of account ending in the second tax year. If yes, we have to count the period. Is it less than 12 months, more than or greater than 12 months? If the period is less than 12 months, then the basis period we start counting 12 months from the start. 12 months from the start, we start counting. If the period ending in the second tax year is greater than or equal to 12, then we start counting 12 months from the end of the period of account. From the end of the period of account. If there is no period ending in the second tax year, then the basis period is equal to the time for the tax year.
period for the third year, the basis period for the third tax year, the basis period for the third tax year is a little bit more direct. We ask when there is a period ending in the second tax year, we need to know whether there is a period ending in the third tax year or whether there is a period ending in the second year or not, we will still ask whether there was a period ending in the third tax year. If there was a period of account ending in the third tax year, we ask, is there a period of account ending in the third tax year? And normally we know, right, in tax accounting, it is always the case that when there is a period in financial accounting, let's say, a period ending, once a company closes its books on 30th June, the company tends to close its books every 30th June from the first time that it does so, except when there is a change of account in it. So when there is a period of account ending in the second tax year, there will most likely be a period ending in the third tax year. Now, is there a period of account in the third tax year? The answer will be yes or no. Yes or no. When there is a period ending in the third tax year, then the basis period will be equal to 12 months to period ending in the third year. Period ending in the period ending in the third year will be the basis period. If there is no period ending in the third tax year, again, the tax year itself becomes the basis period. So the third tax year is a bit more direct, and after the third tax year, subsequent years, the fourth year, the fifth year, the basis period tends to match with the tax year, or the accounting period, right, tends to stabilize, and the accounting period becomes the basis period. So we can say that for subsequent years, after the third year, Let's say the fourth, fifth, and sixth year onwards, the accounting period tends to become the basis period. Thank you. Yeah,